Hello beautiful Gemini, welcome into my channel, Miss Reamy Healings, my name is Reem. Welcome into your reading, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Gemini. I'm going to do your spiritual growth, your personal development reading, and then I will flow into your romantic love life reading, okay? So I'll timestamp in the comment section down below when your love reading begins. Okay, for Gemini. Gemini. For Gemini, please, Spirit. It's interesting. I'm getting this like very slow approaching energy. Like I'm waiting for the channeled messages to come in and I'm just like, you're taking your sweet time to come through. So it's it's this interesting like energy. It's like molasses. It's like really slow energy that's coming towards you. And I'm just, it's like you're sitting there, you're watching it. It's like, can you hurry it up? Like, oh. I'm in this energy. Usually the channel messages go boom, 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 boom. And I'm just like da, 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 nonstop talking. And I'm like sitting here with spirit. And I'm just like, the, the energy is like coming towards me like this. Slow as molasses. And I'm just sitting here like any day now. Any day now you can hurry it up. Any any day now. Like that's, that's the energy <laughs> I'm getting. It's just slow like molasses why what is this energy what is this energy that is slow like molasses growth number 19 just 10 you do have your sacred space Hold on a second. They're saying, look at the imagery. You have here the peacock. It's number 19. What's this number 50? Do you have your let go at the bottom of this? <laughs> look at this. What, if anything, can be done to let go of what is standing in your way? It's number 53. This is number 8. And then you have here 35. You have mirrored numbers. 53 and 35, you have a mirrored frequency right here. You could be seeing mirrored numbers a lot, okay? Let's take a look at the pictures. Gemini, um, mirrored numbers are interesting when it comes to you because you're the twin in the in in the zodiac. There's an aspect of yourself that's mirrored right back to you. It's almost like that aspect of yourself is like coming towards you slowly, and I see this like switcheroo. That's what I'm seeing here. You're letting go of this aspect of yourself. And you're switching it with this aspect of yourself. This looks like... Um, I don't know what kind of bird this is. But immediately when I looked up here, I wanted to say a phoenix. It's like a baby, baby phoenix. Because of the red that I'm getting here. Um, but that's what I'm feeling for you. That's this growth frequency with the peacock. And the peacock, we had this reading, we had this reading for you before where I was talking about that you're being led by many eyes. The many eyes are the many eyes are leading you. Okay, you don't exactly know where you're going, but you just feel guided to go. Okay, this is part of your growth, part of your journey. And and it's interesting that the peacock comes out because the peacock feathers look like 
thousands of eyes. I don't, I don't know why I'm seeing a thousand eyes, but I, that just came to me as soon as I'm looking at the peacock feathers. Okay, so we had that reading, so I'm kind of connecting that reading. It's almost like the eyes were this other aspect of yourself that's being mirrored back to you looking at you and then you have like the guides and your angels and like the divine those eyes as well so there's like multiple eyes in a circle kind of encircling you enveloping you um encasing you in that energy and that frequency but very specifically yourself your other self your mirrored self okay because you're the twin of the zodiac is looking like directly at you and i do feel like that's that slow energy and what's happening is that there's a switcheroo there's a switcheroo being taken place and it's interesting here i feel like it's cultivating a new space okay this is a sacred space card it's number 50 which is five okay because the zero is obsolete um uh talking about lots of changes in your life there's a new space here for you that's that your this higher self of your this growth whoever it is that you, this mirrored self has been like growing and developing over time energetically okay and you're releasing your old self and you're bringing in you're integrating you're cultivating this newer self okay it's a switcheroo and this newer aspect of yourself is taking you into further development and further growth into a sacred space that you have been creating. It just feels like you're walking straight into it with these, these many eyes behind you that have been leading you to this new space. You're going into a new space. Okay, new home, new job, new, 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 new. New feeling, too. It's, it's also for some of you, it's a feeling. Okay. Let's go into the mystical shaman. You could be seeing mirrored numbers, okay? Maybe you're not really cautious or aware of what they are or what they mean, okay? But I'm telling you right now, for those of you that are seeing mirrored numbers, this message is for you, okay? That's the self that is mirrored right back to you because you're the twins of the zodiac. Okay, there's a switcheroo happening right now, all right? One more shuffle. The giveaway. See, more of this like letting go frequency. And it's here, it's number 23, which is again, you, you do have here, this is another five. See, look at this energy, letting go, giving away, giving away. You're giving away your old self. You're surrendering your old self. I'm telling you guys, there's a switcheroo here. Here's your old self. Here's the your higher self or this newer version aspect, new iteration of yourself. Okay, that's what's slowly coming towards you. It could be what this energy is that's coming towards you that you don't exactly f know you feel that you're anticipating this growth you're anticipating this transformation this um this evolve ascension evolvement evolve what am i saying um evolution of the self so you're you're anticipating this energy coming towards you but it's it's slow it's slow like molasses um but when it comes in it comes in it'll integrate itself with you okay so be prepared for a lot of um, different updates within your body, within your mind, within your spirit. Um, prepare for downloads, um, streaming information, 
prepare for a boost of confidence um expect a boost of confidence i'm seeing that a lot of you are going to be really uplifted there's there is this uplifting energy here that i'm feeling because as you give your old self away as you let go of the past as you let go of your past self okay there's a weight that's going to be lifted okay so a lot of things are going to be shifting here you could also be seeing number 555 okay 555 has been haunting me it's been haunting a lot of people it's mars energy it is tower frequency but towers don't always need to be this um destructive chaotic frequency or disruption in your life tower moments can be very subtle changes okay it's really about our perceptions and how much are we aware of those changes okay um i am also seeing a lot of dreams okay that are going to be heightened for you um some of you might even see visions of a new space that you're cultivating for your yourself for your life maybe you're going to be seeing yourself living a whole different life and you're just like is that really me yes it is as soon as i said that it's 11 11 on the recording time okay so that's very significant of the pillars 11 11 that's that new foundation that portal that's what this looks like too this actually looks like 11 11 that gateway it's a new gate that you're stepping through um i just heard there's no time for games i don't know if like someone's fed up with games um or spirit is kind of telling you like there's no more games there's no more um like playing around um i don't know who's that who's that for maybe that's a message that someone just needs to hear or um maybe that's your energy where like you feel like you're getting played I don't know that may be a message just for someone but let's get into let's get more into this energy um i don't know if i'm feeling the animal oracle for you at all i kind of feel like the good tarot for you right now let me bring it out a lot of a lot of like people question like how do we let go and how do we surrender there's lots of like meditations that you can do of letting go and surrendering. Um, so I, I will link a few like meditations, okay, on uh, YouTube that you can do of letting go and surrendering. And funny, <laughs> I'm talking about that in the Ten of Wands is right at the bottom. So this is very interesting. Um, you can write things down and burn it, okay? You can do a fire ritual. Fire is all about um resurrection right i was talking about this beautiful fire bird I, this honestly looks to me like a baby phoenix so fire is extremely um prominent here for you okay write things down burn it on a piece of paper it is the full moon in capricorn so um i'm also like kind of feeling this energy like get back to feeling your emotions okay because there is an aspect of your past self that maybe um hid your emotions or you felt a little bit cold towards emotions maybe feeling a feeling of numbness okay so it's almost like your emotions are coming back up to the surface i feel like if you do a fire ritual it's going to be really emotional for you um when you release your past self speaking from experience i mourned my past self it's like a part of me uh was no more like i i'm getting really emotional thinking about that Ooh. You literally mourn your your past self it's like you're no longer that person okay um and it's exciting to the switch my moon is also in gemini so it's like you're gonna really get to know this new self okay it's very exciting but also very mysterious okay this new this could this sacred space could be this new self this essence of new self the more that i'm kind of talking about it the more that this new the essence of the new self is kind of um unraveling and and blossoming for me as i talk about it it's like a flower that's like you know like the orchid right there's actually one that's here it's like new bloom um the more I talk about it, the more that the energy just kind of opens up for me. So it's almost like that's what it's going to feel like for you. The more that you accept this new iteration of yourself, okay? 
who you want to be, who you want to grow into, who you see yourself as. It's like that already exists. It's coming towards you slowly, ready to integrate. You just have to give your old self. You have to give the past self. You have to give all of that energy away. Okay, let go. Let go of the guilt, the resentment, the what if, I, I, the mistakes. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay okay um so it's like this sacred space for some of you is this new sense of self it's very beautiful the new it's the new self that is creating this sacred space but some of you i'm sorry i'm repeating myself <laughs> i'm like in that energy Yeah, look, the Ten of Swords. You're done. Completion. Ten. Could also be seeing ten ten. <sighs> Blow it all away, Gemini. Blow it all away. Give it away. See more of this energy of giving it away. Letting go. Releasing. Exhaling. It's almost like um, this this new sense of yourself that's like coming towards you slowly it's almost like i don't know i'm seeing it like enter through your mouth because your air your air it's like you, you're breathing in your new self and you are exhaling your old self that's the energy that i'm getting so it's like the more that you breathe in it's like you're breathing in from this sacred space, you're breathing in new air, you're breathing in new space. So it's like fill yourself up with that newness, okay? I mean, your air, Gemini, okay? Maybe that's a good meditation. Spirit just allowed me to kind of do that for you here. Meditate, breathing in through your nose, imagining that you're breathing in this new essence of your a new iteration of yourself okay and then exhaling your old self do that for 15 20 minutes a day okay i i even feel like really slow in this energy um so there's something very subtle about this shift. It doesn't feel like a really, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel heavy. Even though you do have here the Ten of Swords. Um, I don't know, there's a real subtle frequency. It could be spirit that's making things less, it's this giveaway frequency. It's like let go of your burdens will make things lighter, right? Um, you do have here the Four of Pentacles. Okay, more of this energy of like giving away. Give away. See this beautiful fairy? There's a little box here. Giving. It almost feels like spirit is giving you something in return. There's something very small in that box. The Four of Pentacles. A lot of you are connected to the fairy realm. There's definitely a reason why I was guided to this deck right now. And this is the very first card to jump out was this beautiful fairy. Okay. Um, it definitely feels like there's something that, again, you do have here the Four and the Five of Cups. So again, like I said, there's something about your past self that numbed your emotions, okay? Or it, it, it was a very, um, it's not that your emotions didn't exist, absolutely not. It's almost like you weren't as aware of your emotions, okay? So for some of you, some of you, this release, okay? Maybe that meditation of breathing in through your nose, imagining your new self, coming through filling your body 
okay and exhaling releasing your old self releasing the past self a lot of emotions five of cups are going to come up from the surface because i do feel like there was a lot of things that were kind of put in the put in the back put in the back burner in the back of your mind okay so there's a, a lot of depth emotions are coming up to the surface there is this like fairy frequency here that's helping you through this process, helping you make things lighter. Again, you do have here four. I'm seeing a lot of fours here for you as well. Stability and protection. You do have here the page of cups. Yeah, see there's these new emotions that are going to be emerging. Um, let's get your cards out and let's see what's going on. Queen of Cups. Wow. Ooh. Mm, okay. We do have here the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Water. Yep. Mm -hmm. Six of Cups. You do have here, wow, the High Priestess, okay, and then the Queen of Air. There's your frequency right there. Yeah, you do have here the Five of Pentacles, um, Justice, okay, there's that number 11 again. Five, there's that five again, um, the Hierophant, and there's that Tower frequency that we were feeling okay but i can see it's so subtle it's so subtle okay so there there's this beautiful fairy earth frequency here that's coming into balance okay to and this is six this is four which is ten so you do have here ten ten okay um there's a lot of things that are being purified i'm seeing this white deer white elk as purification so again it's like this purification by fire it's like that phoenix frequency so some of you might be guided to do a fire ritual again please be careful um, whenever you're doing a fire ritual um, always caution um, when doing that i just feel like uh, It's interesting because I don't know why I'm seeing that there's you know when there's like um, cows that are in farms what do they do they tag their ears I'm seeing that here on the antlers it's like this this animal has been tagged um, that's an interest I've never actually noticed that I've never noticed that tag and spirit is like this feels like your old self it's like you've tagged your old self you've attached your old self to old narratives to belief systems to you've attached um your old self to stories that don't fit you anymore and that's this growth here it's like you've outgrown the story about yourself you've outgrown it um it's just not you anymore you've that's what i'm getting here you've outgrown a space and that's why you're growing too you've outgrown and you're moving through this sacred space and this new sense of self is coming in and you're getting to know this new sense of yourself which is in itself a sacred space that you're exploring but you're also going to be cultivating a new sacred space a new environment for yourself okay you have here a lot of help from fairies okay it's really coming through really powerfully for you guys connect with nature ground your energy and most importantly detach from the old narrative because that does not fit you any more okay there's a lot of mourning here okay look at this nostalgic energy but this is mourning Look at the five of cups. Look at the expression. Look at the emotions and the energy that's coming off of these cards. I know you guys are sensitive. I know you guys can feel it. Like I said, when we let go and when we release our old past selves, we mourn. 
this person is clutching holding their stomach their solar plexus okay there's a lot of pain here that's resurfacing like i said there are going to be many emotions that come up okay it's going to come up from there from the depth of who you are okay where is it coming up from the depth of you and it's going to travel through your body it's like out of your mouth That's why this meditation of inhale, the new sense of self, and exhale, the old self, is very important, okay? And as you do that, there's going to be, it's going to be a very emotional meditation, ritual, okay? Um, even if you don't want to meditate, do that breathing technique of in through the nose and out through the mouth. Be aware of your breathing is something that they're... Um, letting me know okay be very conscious of your breathing of the air okay um you do actually have here six six you could be seeing six 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 okay which is all about balance and restoration okay you do have here the Page of Cups. This is what I feel like th these new emotions are going to be coming up for you, Gemini. New emotions. Okay. You're going to be exploring this new self. Exploring these new waters. Okay. A lot of things are going to come up for you guys. Um, it won't be easy. All right. But use your intuition to guide you through these waters and changes, okay, with here and with the high priestess. It's interesting because your new self holds a lot of mystery. It's all it's it's like you know no one knows yourself better than you. But it's interesting because this aspect of yourself that's slowly coming in for the switch, it's it holds this sense of mystery that you are getting acclimated to, that you are acknowledging here with the queen of water and queen of swords it's like you're getting to know yourself oh hold on they're showing me something here this is really interesting so this is actually yourself right here and this is your old self, okay? This queen of air frequency. See, there's something going on right now with you. See how aware you are? You're looking at something. You're aware. Look at the owl. The owl is all about awareness, heightened intuition, mystery, okay? See... Oh, Gemini, how can I explain this? This is your intuition. This encompasses all of you. I feel like your intuition is like right here in the back, okay? This is you in the present. Okay, this is your current, soon to be your past self. This is your new self, right? Queen of Water, okay? So it feels like this is the energy. See how this queen is closing her eyes? It's almost like the stasis energy. It's like, that's why I was feeling of this. I'm very slow in this reading because that's what it feels like. It's slow like molasses. It's like you're drifting off in this water. You're sleeping. You're in the stasis frequency. Your new self is like, um, you know, water. I'm seeing the... Um, I'm seeing the womb. It's like you're in the womb. You're not ready to like be integrated yet. Okay. But this is what's coming in. This new iteration of self, this queen of cups frequency is coming in and there's going to be the switch. Okay. So this is the past. This is the new, new iteration of self. This is what you're looking at. Do you see that? That's that mirrored frequency. That's that twin energy.
So th this is what you're giving away and this is what comes in. And that's why this these emotions are extremely important here. Now, a lot of you might wonder, because now I'm kind of like wondering, where does the past self go? The past self doesn't just like, you know, go into the abyss and is forever lost. The past self gets transmuted. Okay, energy doesn't die. Energy gets transmuted. So there's going to be a transmutation, a shift within this queen of air, your past self frequency. It's going to shift. It's going to change. Okay, it's still part of you. Okay, we always we don't lose part of ourselves we just transmute them okay and we evolve and we create new iterations of ourself over time okay and that's what's happening here okay so it's like your emotions do you see here how your emotions are evolving this is the evolution it's something with your emotions your intuition Okay, they're evolving. And this energy here, this past self is going to transmute and this energy is what's going to really come forward in the forefront. That's the switch. That's the switch that's happening. Okay. Um, there's definitely going to be a higher level of knowledge okay a higher level of wisdom that's going to be attained again i'm seeing a lot of heightened intuition you do have here the hierophant and the high priestess okay um i'm definitely being guided to advise i just heard to step into power okay so step into who you really are step into yourself um i feel like not a lot of people understand gemini's I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions about Gemini's, that old Gemini's are two-faced and all this stuff, and that's not the case, okay? That's a low vibration energy of what society likes to say about Gemini's. Like, every sign has, like, good and bad to them. It's just very low vibrational to say that, oh, Gemini, you're like this because you're two-faced. No, it's spirit is saying, embrace that aspect of yourself embrace that there are two sides to you or even multiple sides i don't know how many sides there are to people but i mean gemini it's like this is your specialty this is your talent this is who you are and that's why the high priestess and the hierophant is coming through together okay there's multiple sides to you embrace it it's not weakness and you're not two-faced okay I feel like that's a misconception that just needs to be rewritten, all right? So step into your power. Step into your power. That other facet of yourself has guided you, has assisted you, has helped you, okay? And now it's being acclimated within you. Embrace it and step into that power, okay? Um, here with justice again this is again this is all about balance okay is really the very simplistic message that I'm getting there's a lot of throat chakra that's going to be activated do you see here the sword that's being activated I'm seeing this as the ace of swords it's interesting because you can barely see the scales you but this the sword is lit up um, so it's interesting because that's air frequency a lot of a lot of this air energy is coming through in your reading not only with the breathing but this is about clarity it clarity excuse me you're going to receive a lot of clarity about yourself clarity about who you are <clears throat> clarity about your power see my throat chakra is acting up <laughs> it's interesting because i noticed this blue here and blue is throat chakra Okay, so it's almost like you're going to be activating your throat chakra. As you inhale this new iteration of yourself, your throat chakra is going to be through the roof. Okay, I am seeing that your creativity is going to flow. Um, new doors are going to open within yourself. Therefore, it's going to mirror into your reality. You're going to see new opportunities, new spaces open up for you. 
okay? Some of you, um, I'm seeing that you've been waiting for this for a while, even though you might not have been aware of it in your conscious mind, it's within your sub, your subconscious mind. See, my throat chakra is truly acting up right now. Um, this energy of like, again, you have here another five, you have five, five, you have here actually five, 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 okay? A lot of you have been anticipating this growth. You've been anticipating this change. You've been anticipating an energy that's been like so low, like molasses, coming your way. You've been waiting for the switch. And I don't want to say like you felt like you were missing a part of yourself. It could be because of these narratives, of these societal narratives that, you know, said like, oh, Gemini is two-faced or saying all these low vibrational things about Gemini maybe you had this interpretation about yourself or this perception about yourself maybe you wrote a story or a belief system about yourself that made you feel that you were missing an aspect of yourself that made you feel like you weren't enough or that made you feel like you weren't accepted and therefore you couldn't accept yourself there's something here about acceptance so this is what I'm saying like accept who you are step into your power okay Show how beautiful the different facets of yourself are. All right, again, with the tower, it's a very subtle change um, to some of you. It's not, again, like it's a big change within the self, but for some of you, it's not like this really big, dis it's not a disruption is what I'm seeing here. Okay, look at the energies here, very similar. It's not a disruption. It's just like an awareness of this new self that you're acclimating to. The, the facets of yourself, Gemini. Embrace it. Embrace the sacred spaces, I want to say. The sacred spaces of you because you have many sacred spaces and you're going to explore a lot of them in your lifetime. Okay, so embrace it now. Okay. All right, Gemini, this was your spiritual growth message. I'm going to jump into your I'm going to jump into your love reading. I hope that resonated. Okay. All right. I don't really feel like these oracle cards for you. Let me get um, different oracle cards for you, Gemini, and a new tarot deck out that hasn't been used today. Here we go. Um, oh, I just heard back to basics. Hold on. Which oracle card spirit? <laughs> All right. This one. All right. Okay. I don't know why I heard that. Back to basics. It's like getting back to simplicity. There's a lot of energy about simplicity for you, Gemini. Um, it's almost like you just want the simple things. I don't know if someone is making it complicated for you. Um, I don't know if you're feeling misunderstood in a situation. It's just like, but I just want something simple. Can we just go back to the basics? Can we just go back to the simple things? Um, I don't know. It feels like that. It's like, I just want something simple. Why does it always have to be complicated or convoluted? Or, um, why does it, why does it always have to be difficult? Is the energy that I'm getting immediately as spirit said back to basics. So let's see what's going on for Gemini. Okay. All right, that was 
um, very, you do have here 35, Loyal Heart, and you do have here Orphan, number five. It did come out in the reverse. I'm going to keep it in the reverse. Spirit is telling me, read it in the reverse. Let me just hold it upright though, but I'll read it in the reverse. Okay. get one more yeah never ending story <sighs> yeah message in a bottle round and round is in the reverse okay <clears throat> so Gemini it's just I feel kind of frustrated as soon as I got into this energy because this this is what it looks like. It feels like frustration more than anything else. This never-ending energy, this never-ending story is about to end, okay? This roundabout is about to end. Um, I don't know if you're connected to a Cancer, but Cancer got this energy or if you have Cancer in your chart, but... I channeled the message for cancer about repeating something time and time again over and over and over again so that might be something that um, may resonate with you but I'm getting this message specific specifically about you that you just want something simple and someone in your energy is making it very complicated so that has been extremely tiresome I see that you're very tired I see that you're very fatigued okay you're coming out of the cold here with orphaned in the reverse I am seeing that it's an energy that you're coming out of this never-ending story is going to end with round and round in the reverse okay sorry spirit corrected me they're saying this never-ending story with round and round in the reverse is still ongoing okay but it's about to stop it's about to stop thank you spirit okay this energy is going to go from the um reverse to the upright position okay something is about to stop because you've repeated something over and over again with someone and i do feel like this conversation message in a bottle that you need to have with this person is about what are we are we moving forward i just want something simple it's almost like someone really needs to speak out about what they want i don't know if like you're waiting for the other person because here there's um there's something here that you're questioning. You're not getting a, a straightforward answer from someone. There's a there's a spin dial here and there are answers. Yes, no, me, yes. And it goes on and on. So you're questioning, is this love? Is it me? Is it them? Are we going to be together? You want something simple. It's almost like I want a simple answer. I want a straightforward answer. But this person like takes you on a roundabout and they keep going round and round the roundabout. They don't exit. They don't make a decision. So I feel like there is going to be a conversation which is like what's going to happen? What's going to happen? So let's see. I am seeing that you guys... Are connected with this person here with loyal heart you could be with this person for quite some time or communicating them with, with quite some for a long time but you just don't know where you're where you're headed to yeah four of cups is your overall energy look at this and your head is down a lot You're very unhappy with the current situation. Okay, you do have the Gemini energy here, the lovers. 
You do have here the Six of Wands. I just heard someone needs to get off their high horse. Okay, there's someone that's very prideful here and they don't want to make a decision. Yeah, it's creating a lot of friction. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Yeah, look at the Five of Pentacles again. It's that orphan energy. Okay, even though it came up in the reverse, I am seeing that you're get, you're coming out of feeling abandoned okay i am seeing that you're not you're not going to have that feeling anymore why because i am seeing that you're releasing this energy eight of cups ten of wands you're letting it go okay ten closure something isn't closing it needs to be closed it needs to be it has to Five of Wands. You do have here the Ace of Pentacles. You do have here the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, but it's right underneath the Eight of Cups. Wow, wow, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. I'm seeing something new for you guys come in. Okay, the Magician, the Seven of Cups, King of Swords, there's that Ace of Swords, the Emperor, Ace of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. The Sun, Judgment, yeah, okay. Okay, Gemini, I, I, I feel like someone is completely avoiding making a decision. They're avoiding the truth. All right. Here with the Seven of Wands and the Lovers with the Sun. It's like they're they're blocking out they're blocking out happiness. Look at what they're doing. They're blocking the sun. They're blocking out the truth. They're giving you, you know what they're they're doing? They're giving you a lot of smoke and mirrors. This person is very prideful. They're they're very ego, ego driven. Okay, they'll give you um just enough to kind of keep you in this roundabout. Okay. They'll keep you they'll show you enough to keep you spinning. Okay, to keep you going. Um, and I feel like you kind of know that's exactly what they're doing. They're giving you smoke and mirrors. They're telling you something, but they're not telling you everything. They're telling you just enough, okay? But they're giving you this like smokiness. It's like you can't see what's behind here. I'm going to put up this big smoke. I'm going to put up this big rod in front of me. You can't see what's behind there. So it's very smoke and mirrors. They're blocking out the sun. They're blocking out the truth. They're avoiding making a decision. They're avoiding They're avoiding the judgment and the lovers. Let me tell you something. You can't avoid the sun. You can't avoid uh, judgment and, and you can't avoid the judgment. Okay, if you don't make this decision, the decision is going to be made for you. And also bear in mind that no, deci no decision is a decision in itself. Okay. Um, I don't know who this person is, but they're just very like, it's all about me, 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 me. Okay. I, I'm seeing that you're ready to walk away from the situation. Okay, like I said, it's almost like you taking control over the situation, Gemini. Like I said, with round and round, you've been continuously going and going and going. I just want something simple. Can I just get a straightforward answer? Can I get a simple answer? But this person makes it very smoke and mirror, very confusing, very convoluted. They pile up energy on you. Um, and it's just like, it's, it's a very heavy energy. It's a very heavy smoke. Okay? So... As soon as you, this is me, this is this frequency of you taking your power back, this frequency comes in the upright, 
to close something out this is like world frequency right here and you're able to move forward i am seeing that you're walking away from the situation i'm seeing that you're going towards new love okay you're closing out this conflict here with the five of wands there could be a lot of people um there's a lot of chaos there's a lot of conflict there's just so much friction going on um between the two of you it's almost like again it, again it's like this smoke and mirror energy it's like they're putting up this five of wands to kind of it's almost like a distraction it's like they're distracting you with words or with actions like they'll give you something just for you to stick around but there's so much truth that's building up behind it okay but this is what you see they're intentionally driving this energy they're intentionally doing it um i don't really like where this person is coming from i don't i'm being honest like i don't like the intentions it doesn't feel like they have good intentions towards you because it's very um me 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 it's all about me okay and that is that's just an energy that um hmm okay so i'm seeing that that's being released all right i am seeing that you're gonna get a new offer here this is someone new so this message in a bottle um i'm seeing that some of you need to have this conversation with someone like you need to take your power back okay so some of you need to just give me a straightforward answer is it yes or is it no are we moving forward or are we not like what what are we gonna do what are we gonna do with this okay if this person gives you more maybes or whatever like ultimately the decision is up to you okay um but there is a decision there's a conversation here that really gives you the the power to say okay i'm not taking this anymore i know i'm not happy i know there's something better coming towards me i know i need to go towards that so it's almost like i feel like this buildup of energy within you that when this conversation takes place or you finally kind of muster up the power to like leave or you muster up the courage to say something to this person to say like i'm done with this i don't know how it's gonna happen but i just feel like this like it just needs to come out um i feel like that's gonna be very definitive there's something very finalized um about this connection it's just i don't know it just feels like a finality is about to occur okay and it's gonna open a new door for you gemini okay so you have the top about this connection that's like gonna be finalized okay closed out okay it's meant to close but again it's all up to you it's your decision for this group here i'm seeing it closed okay and I'm seeing a new door, a new opportunity come into your life, right? With the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Page of Cups. I'm seeing a new offer of love come towards you, Gemini, okay? I'm seeing a lot of recipro reciprocation here with the Six of Wands and the Six of um, Pentacles, excuse me, and the Two of Cups, okay? One second. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right. So, yeah. Yeah, there's that world, Knight of Swords. Okay. So, you have here two fives, five of swords. You do have here the two of swords so this person this past person okay they're still coming out it's almost like they won't let you go or they really like to keep you in this roundabout okay but as soon as this as soon as this is put to a close okay this is the conversation that's going to happen between the two of you it's not this person that you're dealing with not this new person but this person is someone that doesn't know how to communicate they come from a place of me 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 okay here again with this five of swords frequency 
they're, they don't see what they do. They don't see how their words hurt. They don't see how they, they convolute things. They don't see how their words have power. They don't see how they're affecting other people. So again, like I said, this round and round frequency is the world. Okay, so I am seeing that come to a close. Okay, and as soon as that comes to a close, this opens up here with the fool. I feel like the fool is kind of bridging the old and the new energy so you're going to step into the new and this person here i wanted to clarify the six of pentacles and all of that frequency just came out of the of the deck um is some of you this old person is going to be jealous that you want to walk away some of you not all of you and that's when i think they're going to try to message you and come back when you decide to walk away because i was asking about the new person and their energy came rushing in so just to give you guys like some background when i do tarot i tap into the energy okay so when we do love readings we tap into other people's energy so when i talked about you moving away and and going towards something new their energy and the and the tarot came out the past person so for some of you they will know they'll feel that or they'll see it i don't know how that will be for for some of you guys but for some of you they'll they'll get jealous okay this is a jealous frequency and they'll try to say something to manipulate you to stay um in this in this circle but again nothing definitive okay nothing definitive two of swords it's still uncertainty it's like maybe okay you're not looking for maybe you're looking for something conclusive simple <laughs> like okay so that's for some of you um, but this new person, okay, um, here with the Knight of Cups. So this Six of Pentacles, I, when I wanted to clarify, I got the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands with the Page of Pentacles. And I wanted to clarify to see what frequency the Six of Pentacles is in. And it just kind of, it confirmed what I was feeling. This person is a giver. This person is going to provide, um, is, is very generous and feeling a lot of generosity with the Six of Pentacles energy. It's not breadcrumbing. It's not any of that frequency. Um, the frequency of the Six of Pentacles is generosity. And it's clarified by this energy of Page of Pentacles, King of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Okay. Um, you do have here three Aces. Okay, you have here three aces in this new frequency. The only one that's missing is the ace of swords. Okay, so that's the energy that is missing, okay, which is clarity. So I think some of you guys don't see this situation clearly, okay? You guys are in this frequency of this old person giving you a lot of smoke and mirrors that you don't believe that there's a new person for you. Um, so the fact that you have three aces and the ace of swords missing the clarity is missing in the situation okay as soon as you release this person i do feel like that's when the ace of swords frequency will come in for you that's when you'll receive the clarity okay um yeah and you have your three of the pages and it's interesting because the the you have your page of pentacles page of cups or sorry, you have two of the pages. My my mistake. This is the knight, the knight of cups. Um, I was gonna say you have the the page of swords that's missing, as well as the page of wands. Interesting. Interesting. The the page is not here because they're already the king okay this person is already well aware of what they want okay i definitely feel like they don't know you page of swords it's not here okay they don't know much about you so this is telling me that you're go you're going to be getting to know this person this is a brand new person okay you're going to start something brand new with them a new relationship okay they're very generous of their time of their effort and of their love Okay, lots of action, uh, lots of dating, like going on dates, lots of communication of emotions, okay? Um, they definitely admire you. They will admire you, okay? They'll see how hard you work here with the Queen of Pentacles. This could be you 
or this could be you okay depending on however you resonate with the uh, with the energy energy can be interchangeable but i'm seeing that this is your energy gemini not female or male gender specific the person that's coming towards you is the king of wands okay again but energy can be interchangeable um this person definitely knows what they want they go after what they want i'm seeing that you're not looking for this because you're looking down at your pinnacle you're looking down at your um you're really focused on yourself okay so i feel like this person you're the past person that you're releasing here has really done a number okay it's like you just don't want to deal with anything okay see here here how you're looking down this person's looking at you i feel like you are just not looking for this and i feel like that's when this exactly comes in for you gemini okay when you're not looking when you're focused on yourself focused on doing you okay I do see that you're going to accomplish, accomplish, excuse me, a lot of different things in your life. Um, you're going to find a lot of stability and success. Um, this person that you are releasing has definitely held you back from that. It's almost like you put you put your life on hold, uh, waiting for this past person to make a decision again with this round and round and round. So it felt like you were going, you're not accomplishing as much as you wanted to. Um, they really like messed up with mess messed with your plans, so to speak. Um, so you're really putting that time and focus and energy back onto you, not really focused on love. And someone admires you from afar and then comes forward to you. Okay, and I'm seeing a lot of reciprocity in a relationship, a new relationship for you, Gemini. This is something new. So we're gonna ring the bell to release the past. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> All right, Gemini, this was your reading. Um, I hope it resonated. I love you guys. Until next time.